Good afternoon. Today we are going to look at common quantifiers. Before we start, let's talk about count nouns and non-count nouns. So, what are count nouns? Count nouns are nouns that can be counted. Therefore, they can follow a number identifying the amount. For example, there are two dogs. One, two, two dogs. Dogs is a noun that can be counted. Count nouns can be either singular or plural. If the count noun is singular, then it must follow an indefinite article, that is, a, un. For example, a dog is an animal. Both dog and animal are count nouns. If the count noun is plural, then an s needs to be attached to it. For example, there are two dogs, two dogs, plural. Now let's talk about non-count nouns. Non-count nouns can't be counted. Non-count nouns are things such as ideas, for example, freedom, friendship, beauty, democracy, activities, such as baseball, hiking, basketball, subjects, such as mathematics, English, art, food, such as bread, butter, chicken, feelings, such as hate, love, joy, materials, such as ash, cotton, clay, liquids, such as water, oil, milk, weather, such as fog, ice, snow, and gases, such as air, smoke, and oxygen. As we mentioned, non-count nouns can't be counted. Therefore, these nouns can't follow numbers. Non-count nouns also must be singular. Next, non-count nouns also can't follow an indefinite articles, such as a uh, and un. Lastly, Verbs for non-count nouns must always be in the third person singular. Helps. So, a correct sentence for a noun-count noun looks like this. Information helps a lot. Now let's look at the purpose and form of the quantifiers, and we'll look at an overview list of quantifiers. So, what is the purpose of a quantifier? In academic writing, Quantifiers are useful because they increase the accuracy and precision of sentences. Let's look at a general sentence that doesn't have a quantifier. For example, parents were happy with the school and liked everything. This sentence is too general and implies that all the parents like the school. Now let's look at a more accurate sentence that uses a quantifier. Many parents were happy with the school and liked everything. This sentence is more accurate and suggests that few parents may have had complaints. So where do we put quantifiers? Quantifiers are placed before nouns. For example, many parents were happy with the school and liked everything. Many is the quantifier. Parents is the noun. Quantifiers also follow a quantifier plus of plus noun phrase pattern. For example, we can utilize quantifier plus of plus demonstratives plus noun. Demonstratives are words such as the, this, that, these, those, and such. Here is a sample sentence. Many of the parents came to the PTA meeting. We can also utilize a quantifier plus of plus possessive adjective plus noun. Possessive adjectives are words such as my, their, our, your, her, his, its. For example, few of their children spoke at the PTA meeting. Lastly, we can also utilize a quantifier plus of plus object pronoun. Object pronouns are words such as me, them, us, you, her, him, it. Here is a sample sentence. Many of them stayed home. Here is a quick overview of the quantifiers we will be looking at today. Quantifiers that work with countable and uncountable nouns are all, almost all, both, no, which doesn't work with of, some, 
enough, a lot of, which must have of, any, which we use only with questions and negation. For count nouns, we will look at a few, a great many, very few, not many, several. With non-count nouns, we will look at a great deal of, which must have of, a little, very little, much, not much. We will also look at comparative quantifiers. These are less, more, and fewer, which only works with count nouns. Now let's look at quantifiers that work with count and non-count nouns. So, some quantifiers work with both non-count nouns and count nouns. For example, all with a count noun. All students came to class. With a non-count noun, all information is stored on the internet. No with a count noun. No parents missed their chance to meet teachers. With a non-count noun, he was cheap, so he spent no money. These quantifiers work with both non-count nouns and count nouns. These are all, which is 100%, no, which is 0%, almost all, which is a very large percentage, both A and B for both options, some for a moderate amount, enough for a sufficient amount, and a lot of for a large amount. Let's look at examples with count nouns. All. All parents came to the parents' night. No. No students came to the parents' night. Almost all. Almost all parents asked questions. Both A and B. Both parents and teachers drank coffee. Some. Some parents talked with the principal. Enough. Teachers handed out enough flyers for everyone and a lot of. Parents asked a lot of questions. Now let's look at examples with non-count nouns. All. All information is stored on the internet. No. He was cheap, so he spent no money. Almost all. He saved almost all his money, both A and B. He stored both gold and silver in the bank. Some, some gold was stored in his vault. Enough. Usually he carried enough money in his wallet to buy lunch. A lot of. He kept a lot of money in stocks. Please note that any can only be used in questions and with negatives. So, in a question with a count noun, did any students come to class? In a question with a noun count noun, is any f information true on the internet? With a negative and with a count noun, there aren't any cookies left on the table with a negative and with a non-count noun. He is cheap, so he doesn't spend any money. Now let's look at quantifiers with count nouns. As we mentioned, count nouns are countable. That means we can count them. The quantifiers for count nouns are a few, a great many, very few, many, and several. A great many is used for a large amount. For example, a great many parents were happy with the school. Several is used for a moderate amount. For example, several students came with their parents. Few is used for a small amount. For example, few students asked questions. And many is used for a large amount. Parents asked many questions. Now let's look at the quantifiers for non-count nouns. So, non-count nouns, as we mentioned, are not countable. That is, we can't count them. The quantifiers for non-count nouns are a great deal of, a little, little, and much. Let's look at some examples. A great deal of means a very large amount. For example, a great deal of information is on the internet. Little means a very small amount. For example, 
he was very cheap and spent very little money on himself. Much, on the other hand, means a very large amount. For example, her family was big, so much food was needed for them. Now let's look at comparative quantifiers. Less, more, and fewer are comparative quantifiers. These are used when making comparisons. For example, less with a non-count noun. A cappuccino has less milk than a latte. Less occurs more frequently with non-count nouns. Let's look at more with a count noun. More people started traveling in 2021. Now let's look at more with a non-count noun. In 2020, people spent more time with family. Now let's look at fewer with a count noun. Fewer tourists traveled in 2020 than in 2019. Fewer only works with count nouns. Adverbs such as substantially, significantly, considerably, and slightly can be placed before a comparative quantifier. For example, significantly fewer tourists traveled in 2020 than in 2019. Now let's do some 10 second practice questions. Please choose the word that best fits in the blank. Take 10 seconds to make your choice. She has three pounds of rice, and I have two pounds of rice. She has more rice. More is a comparable. Rice is an uncountable noun. Next. Asia is the largest continent. It has a great deal of land. A great deal of is used for large amounts of uncountable nouns. Land is an uncountable noun. Next. Sweden has 267,570 islands. It has many islands. Many is used for large amounts of countable nouns. Islands is a countable noun. Next. Brazil produces 2.68 million tons of coffee. It has a lot of coffee. It has much coffee. You can use both a lot of and much, but a lot of is used more often than much for large amounts of uncountable nouns. Coffee is an uncountable noun. Next. I have enough eggs for an omelet, so I don't need to buy any. Enough is used for sufficient amounts. Next. A few people have green eyes. About only 2% do. A few is used for small amounts of countable nouns. People is a countable noun. Next. I have to buy milk. I have no milk in the fridge. No is used for zero amounts. 
Now let's do a quick summary. Remember that quantifiers are placed before nouns. For example, many parents were happy with the school and liked everything. Remember that quantifiers can also follow a quantifier plus of plus noun phrase pattern. For example, many of the parents came to the PTA meeting. Quantifiers for non-count nouns are a great deal of, a little, little, and much. For example, a great deal of information is on the internet. Quantifiers for count nouns are a few, a great many, few, many, and several. For example, parents asked many questions. Less, more, and fewer are used when making comparisons. For example, in 2020, people spent more time with family. Lastly, adverbs can also be placed before a comparative quantifier. For example, significantly fewer tourists traveled in 2020 than in 2019. Well, this concludes my presentation. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, please email me, and thank you so much for watching.